Welcome back to Local Matters. April Fools is just around the corner and it's no joke. I've got a comedian here in the studio with me now. Here's Mark Vinson. So welcome to the show. Well, thanks for having me. My pleasure. So Mark, you are a busy man. You've got lots of uh, wonderful shows happening this month. So what's coming up for you? Uh, I'm out of town most the rest of this month, but in town we have a big, uh, big festival coming up. It's a two day fest. Uh, Friday night, April 29th, we're at Ramada Inn. Okay. And then the Saturday, April 30th at Altsville Theatre. Unfortunately, that's sold out, but we still have tickets left for the 29th. So you're from Cornwall originally, or? Yes, uh, born and raised in Cornwall. I moved out of town like everyone else, and then it just drew me back. And okay. here's home, so I've been living here, three kids and my wife, and love it wow. here in Cornwall. Right, that, that, that's awesome. So why comedy? Why, what, what made you become the jokester? I don't know. I think I just always enjoyed making people laugh and maybe I just like the attention because mm -hmm. nothing's really more narcissistic than doing stand-up comedy. <laughs> you know, going up on stage, everyone look at me with these bright lights and we're going to talk about what I want to talk about for the next half hour. No, I love it. I love making people laugh. I love when people come to me after the show and say, you know what, I needed a good laugh. Thank you. So yeah. it was perfect. Yeah, you were on um, another show with us too, Mental Health Matters as well, talking about the importance of comedy and just the importance of having a sense of humor. You know, I think that, that, that you had a quote you mentioned to me earlier. What was it? Well, people said, why is it so important to laugh? And it's like, well, you can't be, like, you can't cry when you're laughing. You can't be sad, you know, if you're laughing. So it's always good to kind of take your mind out of it, right. enjoy a show and get some laughs. Absolutely. Well, I know that I certainly feel better after I have a good chuckle too. And and you know so what? They're, they're far. They're few and far between. But so it's it's. I, I look I look forward to having guests like you. Who can few and far between. You should come to more shows. I think we'll I keep should. you laughing. Okay. Well, what's going on uh, for you in the in the upcoming season? I know this is a busy time of year for you. Have you had a, a chance to take take some time off or? Well, it's really busy now. You know, we're always busy before the summer season, you know, especially here in Canada in summer, we don't get that many shows. People want to be outside in the sun, want to be outside camping. So, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're busy now getting ready for the summertime. Okay. Well, I noticed that you have um, similar hair to me. What It's like a gingery kind of... Yeah, I'm total ginger. That's why I'm kind of scared of the summer. Like summer is where gingers go to die. Like I wear SPF Very 192 true. all summer. It's like my cologne. I call it Oda Ginger. <laughs> Very popular in Ireland, I hear. They love it down there. Yeah, it's like I just get burnt all the time. That's why summer kind of scares me. I go around with a beach with my shirt off. Kids are like, oh my God, look, Mommy, it's a Muppet. The Flopagus. Yeah, with a sunburn. I tell you. Well, I don't know. I mean, for me, I, 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 get, I get burns, but I don't have like, I'm, I'm not as bad as, as you see. I seem to keep it under control for some reason. I'm horrible. <laughs> I remember my wife wanted to go to Cuba, so she's like, you have to pre-tan. And I've never tanned in my life, so she takes me to, like, these, like, death boxes. You know, the tanning beds. Oh, right, yes. Okay. And supposed to, you're supposed to, like, pre-tan, but not for too long. I did it for seven seconds, and I got a summer. Well, you know, I think that uh, y you've definitely got your, your battle against you. <laughs> I know. I tried. She bought me a 10-minute card. I went, like, 40 times. I still have six minutes left. Went to Cuba. I, I got a sunburn on the landing. Oh yeah. Yeah, I fought for the, I fought for the, uh, fought for the the window seat, and I shouldn't have, because just got a sunburn. Everyone got to enjoy the nice sand. I stayed in the room with Bird of the Maid. It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Watched her fold towels all day. I am the best person you'll ever meet at folding towels, though. I'll tell that you how right? much. Yep. Except for. I can fold in nine different ways, and according to my wife, everyone is wrong. Huh. But that sounds about right, though. I think that's pretty normal in any marriage. Everything we do is wrong, right? <laughs> that's just how it works out. Well, listen, it's been a pleasure having you on and really cool to meet you and, and, and just to know that, you know, people are out there doing their thing and, and you're doing your thing, doing your comedy and making people laugh and feel good. So uh, Absolutely. So have an awesome festival. Uh, Perfect. April 29th yeah. uh, and 30th. We also, like last year, we raised $7,000 for the local soccer. Oh, okay. We raised uh, money for the village in Uganda. So, you know, it's a fundraiser too. Helps everyone out. It's a good night. We've got three killer headliners along with me. So be a good night out. Awesome. Sending positive vibes everywhere. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you very much.